Good morning. Uh, it is 7:22 Sunday, September 22nd, and um, this morning I'm going to install Web Platform Installer so that we can later install Visual Studio and a couple other items that we may need. Uh, the Web Platform Installer is actually really neat. Um, gives you access to all kinds of stuff for um, doing things on the web which you'll see shortly. The first thing we have to do is we need to actually go and get to the web platform installers site. Um, it's not a very obvious site so we're gonna have to search for it. It's odd. Okay. Um, And the way we're going to search for it is just by typing it into whatever your preferred, yep, whatever your preferred search engine is. Um, I use Bing. All right. So the requirements of the web platform installer are actually pretty minimal. Uh, you have to have XP Service Pack 3 and above for uh, consumer uh, Windows operating systems. For server operating systems, uh, you have to have Windows Server 2008 and above. Uh, you have to have administrative permissions, and uh, obviously you have to have an internet connection. Uh, so now we're going to go ahead and click the Download It Now button. Uh, as you can see on the screen, it is free. It's only, it's very, very small. Um, and uh, it's always up to date. The, um, the apps that you can get from it are uh, constantly being updated. And when you run the web platform installer, uh, you always get the latest version of that app. Um, some of the things that you can install using it are uh, you can install the IIS web server, Internet Information Services, uh, for your particular Windows operating system. Uh, so for XP, I think the highest you can do is like um, IIS 6, and then uh, the current version is IIS 8. Um, looks like I need the .NET Framework. Uh, you can install SQL Express Editions. Um, you can install uh, the current SQL Express, I believe, is SQL 2012 Express. You can install the .NET Framework, although it looks like uh, it's going to have to install the .NET Framework for me before I can even use the Web Platform Installer. Um, you can install Visual Studio Express Editions, uh, which will be the next thing that I will be installing in a video. You can install PHP and you can install web applications. Um, ones that you'd be familiar with would be WordPress uh, for doing blogs. Uh, it's also used as just general content management, I believe, in some situations. You can install .NET Nuke, not my favorite CMS. You can install Joomla. I don't have any uh, experience with Joomla, but I do know that it is a popular content management system. You can install Umbraco which is a European content management system built on the .NET framework. Um, it is extremely extensible, but there is a bit of a learning curve. And you can install NOP Commerce. Um, the ones I've just read are just the, the top five most popular items that get installed using Web Platform Installer. NOP Commerce is an e-commerce site slash content management system. Um, it's actually designed so that you can very easily set up a shopping cart and then um, also have pages that back that shopping cart in the same system. Uh, it's fairly easy to use. It has a friendly interface, uh, an extremely well-built um, administrative side, or at least it did the last time that I used it. .NET Framework is now installed. Um, 
So the next thing is it should finish up the web platform installer installation, which is extremely small. Um, <clears throat> and then it will launch the web platform installer. Awesome. Okay, so very shortly this will be done and we will be able to see all of the wonderful things that you can install with the web platform installer. I've already talked about a few, but uh, we can go into a few more when it's finished. Um, oh, looks like they have made some visual changes since the last time I've used it. Uh, so as you can see here, in the server category, there is a ton of stuff. Um, there is IIS 7.7.5, uh, which gives you... I believe it gives you the ability in a Windows 7 or a Windows 8 system to run the Cassini web server uh, more efficiently. Uh, Cassini is what Visual Studio uses uh, to serve web pages when you are not directly connecting to an IIS site that you have set up on your local machine. <coughs> Um, you can install the URL rewrite engine. This is what allows for um, pretty URLs. Um, so instead of website.com slash index.html, uh, you could have just website.com slash. That's a, not the best example because index already doesn't require you to have something in, but uh, it can be extended. So uh, website.com slash home or slash account slash edit uh, without any extension. Um, and there's a whole bunch of stuff for Azure, um, little tiny bits of IIS that you can install if you need extra stuff. There's IIS 8 Express Release Candidate, it's not quite ready yet. Um, frameworks, PHP, Azure, Python, That looks like about it is a node. Node is fun. We'll be playing with that at some point. Um, databases. No, nope. 2008 is the latest Express edition. Hmm. Well, that's not going to be any fun, is it? Um, I will probably be using uh, SQL 2012. Um, I've gotten used to using it. It has couple extra features, but I don't spend a lot of time in SQL, so Source Pack 2 2008 may work. And then Visual Studio Express, uh, we'll be getting this later, uh, this will be the next video. Um, <coughs> several light tools, uh, I don't know why anyone would use that anymore. Uh, expression Encoder, really? It's nice. It's probably just a trial. And a couple other things. Uh, Office uh, and Silverlight tools for Visual Studio. All kinds of fun stuff. Uh, <laughs> now look, see it says Windows Azure tools, but then Windows Azure, uh, where they, you get all that stuff again. Whatever. <laughs> Okay, so that is pretty much it for installing the web platform installer. The latest version, as you can see, is 4.6 as of this recording. Um, you would actually definitely want to get the latest version that you would have. Um, and as you can see, they have quite a few apps that you could just download and start immediately. Not all of them are free. Some of these are paid apps. But they all are extremely easy to install using this system. That is pretty much it for this video. I'm going to go ahead and shut it down. Uh, hope to see you soon for installing Visual Studio Express. Thank you. Goodbye.